Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's Vlogmas and today I need to film a video really fast because it's like 1, I want to say like 1.15 and I have a meeting with my mentor at 2 o'clock, so let's just get into it. Today we're going to be doing a makeup video. Um, I haven't really decided what it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy, but I need something for Vlogmas and I wanted to do a makeup video anyway because I got some new eyelashes. These are the ones that were at Dollar Tree. First of all, look at these. Okay, and I've seen them in TikToks and stuff, but I know that Dollar Tree never be having them. Like, they'd be so rare to find, and mine has some. So I got three pairs, and I'm not even mad. They were only a dollar. And I tried them on yesterday, and they're so cute. I'm so excited. And I also cut my eyebrows a little. Gave them a little shape up. <laughs> I gave my eyebrows a shape up. That's a little ghetto. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start with the eyebrows. So today's video, I thought that I would do like a TikTok trend thing. I might do some, you know, like TikTok makeup hacks. Cause I've been seeing a lot of those videos and I've been seeing a lot of the TikToks actually too on the app because yes, I have TikTok. Everyone has TikTok these days, like who doesn't? But unfortunately I went back on my word. I feel bad about it. Cause I'd be talk I used to be talking so bad about TikTok how they push down black creators which they do i still agree with that but at the same time i still get on tiktok so honestly i don't even know what to say <laughs> but doing my eyebrows is so quick when they're done but yeah so i brought you a little bit closer too so y'all could see me better and if you didn't know i put edge booster on my eyebrows as my eyebrow gel because it works really good for it does it work good for my edges absolutely not but it does work good for my eyebrows i'm just starting my eyebrows and honestly I'm not even gonna be doing too much today, but I'm gonna be doing a little more than I usually would because I feel like all of my makeup videos are beginning to get really repetitive and that's just not what I'm into. I wanna get back into the old makeup artist that I was when I was doing those cute creative looks, like colorful eyeshadows, stuff like that. So I wanna get back into that because honestly, I don't know why I ever got out of it, but yeah, so I'm gonna start exploring more with the eyeshadow. I probably won't make as many videos for YouTube. I'll most likely make them on my Instagram. So make sure you go follow me on Instagram at Janae Chanel or my makeup page at Janae's Makeup or my business page at Less Maniac Brand. <laughs> and those are my Instagrams. So if you're seeing this and you wanna connect, do it. Reach out to me, I'll answer, I swear. But yeah, so I'm starting my eyebrows. I use the LA Girl Dip Brow Pomade. I talked about this in my favorites video, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and go watch it. I made it like two days ago, I think. It's one of my Vlogmas videos, but yeah, this is one of these days here. And I've been seeing a lot of, like, <laughs> first of all, I've been seeing a lot of creators drop out of Vlogmas. I'm sorry, I think that's a little bit comical. But they drop out of Vlogmas, and I feel like it's because they put so much pressure and stress on themselves like people know it's vlogmas and you have to make a video every day they're not going to expect the same amount of you know not quality because i feel like my videos are pretty quality i mean i spend the same amount of time editing them but that's just because i edit fast but people are understanding with vlogmas at least i would hope so i mean i am at least so i just feel like people are being a little bit dramatic like it's okay if you miss a day it's really cool honestly it's not that deep um, and it's Vlogmas, and I know everybody's trying to be different now and do different videos other than vlogs, but if you can only vlog and that's the most, the best you can do, then just do that. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'll be watching some people and I'll just be so confused. Like, it's not that serious. I think people take a lot of things really seriously. I understand that YouTube is your job and all, but I don't think you missing one day of video is going to really break your pockets that much you know what i'm saying so tell me what you want but i feel like that's a little bit dramatic oh my gosh i might do this whole video in one take that would be kind of crazy that'd be a long video though to be honest i remember my old videos my old makeup videos i used to have like the nice aesthetic like look but recently i've been more into the regular 
everyday type of background and stuff. Like I used to have a backdrop and everything, which I still probably will eventually have a backdrop and fix up my filming area and all, but I'm still trying to figure out my basement room anyway, so can't put the expectations too high. My eyebrows are taking me so long, so you know what? I'll come back when I finish them. Okay, so I'm back and I finished my eyebrows and I want to do some eyeshadow today, so I'm just dry cleaning some of my eyeshadow brushes that I recently used when I did a green and blue makeup look, which is also one of my vlogmas videos if you want to go watch it. And um, I'm just cleaning these off so I can use them here because I don't feel like going to actually clean them. I'm going to clean all my brushes really soon though. Probably today, honestly, or tomorrow I'll clean my brushes in full with, you know, soap and water and stuff. But for right now, I use the Ulta brush and sponge cleaner thingy. I don't know if y'all really care to know what I was using, but just in case you did, if you're like a makeup artist or someone who does a lot of makeup, this is good for you if you need to clean your brushes often. But yeah, so today I decided to do a little bit of color on my eyelids. I'm going to be using my It's My Pleasure and I Like You A Lot palette. These are both from ColourPop and I've had them for a little while now. That's just some background on that. So I saw in the video someone was talking about how um, when you do eyeshadow you're supposed to use a really light concealer and it's like I always knew that but I just never went and picked one up and that's why today I'm going to be using my lighter concealer but it's really not that light it's close to my skin tone. I'm going to use that as my base and I guess I can use my sponge to blend it out. I used the Real Techniques one. I said it right the Real Techniques <laughs> but Everyone uses a sponge, I hope, because it's the best one. Honestly, if you use any other sponge, I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, I just use this and blend it out. So for eyeshadow, I'm honestly going to go a little simple. Because I need to move fast because I have a meeting. <laughs> but I'm getting a video out today. I'm not slacking off like I was earlier in Vlogmas. So I'm going to take this little taper brush, I guess. I'm gonna go into It's My Pleasure. Mm. No, I'm gonna go into I Like You a lot. So, oh, and I got a new handheld mirror because my other one broke. <laughs> but like I was saying, as far as my content goes, honestly, let's talk about 2021 because I feel like I have a lot of goals set in place and I've already started on them. Yes, I'm not waiting until 2021 or anything, but I really hope to reach certain aspects in 2021, like by at least six months into 2021, I want to buy a car. I also want to have at least a thousand subscribers within the next two months. I'm at 400 something, but I've become really, really consistent and I'm going to continue to do that and implement different growth things that I can do like promotion and stuff wise. And hopefully I'll get my channel out there more because I feel like I work really hard on it. Like everyone works on really hard on their YouTube channel who, you know, get a lot of recognition. I'm not saying they don't, but I just feel like I don't have far enough of a reach. I feel like if more people saw my channel, maybe they would be interested, if that makes sense. I mean, we all want to just get ourselves, put ourselves out there when we're on YouTube. Like if you're a YouTube creator, you want to put yourself out there because you put a lot of work into your videos and... I am the same way. This is a really good color, by the way. I love it. It's purple. It's so cute. It blends a little funny, though. The one thing about these palettes is they're really, really pigmented. But sometimes they blend really funny. And it's kind of annoying, honestly. But I just take this smaller brush. And I'll start to blend it like that at the top. But yeah, so I want to buy a car. I also want to jumpstart my social media, social media management business because i do it but i want to do it more seriously so hopefully i can make that like my income for real and i'll be making enough so i can pay off some of school you know i just have a lot of like honestly i guess professional type of goals for 2021 and i plan to meet all of them so try me if you want but i'm using the same palette and i'm just gonna take this different color it's still purple Honestly, I would pick up the palette and show y'all, but I don't feel like it. I'm sorry. When you see the palette, it's not like anyone's honestly going to recreate this anyway. Let's be realistic, so. But if you do choose to, then I use the second, the middle rose bottom shade right here. And I use the last rose third shade all the way to the right for the first color. 
So yeah, those are the two eyeshadows I've used so far. Uh, as far as beauty, my channel, I have been getting back into beauty videos. It'll most likely be the same kind of videos, but I do want to implement. I don't know why I keep talking so fast. Like, I'm not even that much in a rush, but I do want to implement more fashion content because I feel like I do a lot of lifestyle and beauty, but I feel like I have a little something to say about fashion and hopefully I'll be able to upgrade my style so when I say stuff, people don't be clocking me. Um, so yeah, I also plan to do that. Because I always say that my niche is like beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. And it is. But I really only do beauty and lifestyle. So I need to stick to my third. Oh my gosh, there's this really pretty, really pretty eyeshadow in here. It's this one. And I'm about to use that on my inner corner, if you are wondering. I'm going to use this flat looking brush. I usually use this to cut my crease, but I'm not going to cut my crease today. I want it to be more of a subtle and smoky type of look oh maybe i do a halo eye i never see people do halo eyes anymore yep just changed my mind like that making it a halo eye so i'm gonna go in with the go in with the middle just a dry brush at first then i'm gonna wet my brush i just spray with water you could use setting spray but it honestly doesn't make a difference in my opinion and go over that again this is my semi halo eye oh my gosh y'all remember og youtube like that was really it to be honest makeup tutorials they used to hit the spot i tell you and i'm gonna take this brush again and i'm just gonna blend out the corners inner and outer what do you guys think very much fairy very much doll <laughs> i'm actually gonna use this color when i for my inner corner. I'm not gonna use a different brush. And I guess this one will work. I brought you guys closer for once. When I do my makeup, I feel like I be having y'all real far and I should really be having y'all closer. So now I'm going to just put on my eyelashes and I'm gonna be wearing these ones, but I'm not gonna put them on on camera because I feel a lot of pressure when I do that. So when I put them on, I'll be right back and finish my face. Somebody cooking and it smell good, but I just wanted to mention the lash glue I use. It's from Lenny or Lennox Co. Laid by Jay. It's my sister's eyelash glue. And I put it across my lash band. It's like a strip eyelash glue. And that is how I recommend you put on your lashes if anyone was wondering. Turns out I am putting my eyelashes on on camera. Wow. Look at me. Telling the truth once again. Just kidding. I'm not a liar. I swear. But these eyelash, the eyelash band on these are really skinny. So you want to make sure you get as close to your lash line as possible. And there you go. You have an eyelash. I put on my eyelashes and I love these. I've been looking for a really natural eyelash for a while now. And I've been saying that, but it hasn't been showing. And I finally found one that I like. And I might, it might be dramatic to some of y'all, but I wear 25 mm. So <laughs> this is not that dramatic to me. And I've been doing my concealer, you know, the TikTok way recently. And I only put it in these two places. But I also put it on my chin and in some spots, wherever I feel it necessary. Oh my gosh, I'm running so low on this concealer. I'm literally about to run out. I oh know, it's my favorite. This one and the ColourPop one, I think, and the Makeup Revolution one, those are really good concealers. They're all, they're all like seven or eight dollars. This is the cheapest one, is six dollars. They're all so good. <coughs> Saw that on TikTok. Where you Put down your wet concealer and then you sorry i'm kind of doing this wrong now but i just forgot to put my lighter one but you put it on and then you put some setting spray on and then you let that dry and you're supposed to wait like five minutes and then you blend out your concealer so let's wait five minutes and i'll be back okay so i waited long enough close close to five minutes so now i'm just gonna start blending it out Oh, my mirror is below me, so if you're wondering why I was looking down, that's why. But I'll look up now. I'll look at the mirror in front of me. I have two. I feel like when you're making a YouTube... Sorry. When you're making a makeup video, you have more than one mirror. Because you never know what angle you need to look at that's best for the viewer. Some people, I mean, I'm guilty of it. Just use the mirror that's the best for them. Which, most of the time, is below them or on the side of them. So you don't really see them straight on. But... I love it. I will try to use the one up 
here so y'all can see what I'm doing. If anyone cares. But yeah, you just blend out your concealer like you regularly would. But it honestly does blend a lot um, more covered. Like, they really say full coverage when you wait those five minutes. Now, after I blend all of this out, which I'm about done, I feel like I blend it out pretty fast. But now I'm done blending everything out. Okay, now I'm done blending everything out. I'm just gonna take my um, press powder on my face because I don't really bake anymore. I also left my loose powder at school, so I don't have any loose powder here. Sad story. <laughs> so this is what we're stuck with and this is what we'll be using. Sometimes I use my other press powders that's in this old palette of mine, but I don't even feel like doing all that today. I'll just use this one right here my skin tone and just go over my whole face with it just don't look crazy <laughs> that would be really embarrassing it looks good in my mirror though <laughs> so now i'm about to just contour and bronze my face real quick and i'll be back i guess it makes sense to tell you that i'm using my juvia's place palette and i just use i just use these two browns mostly that's the only colors i use and i use a darker one but i use a very small amount of it down here. This is the brown that my sister said looks purple. Maybe it is purple. Honestly, I don't know. This is a cheek palette, so maybe it's really a blush and I'm just using it as a blusher. It is what it is. I just put some on the other side. I do be going light with this. I went heavy before a few times, not gonna lie to you, and it's been very heavy but i'm trying to go lighter with it because i feel like it don't need to be as heavy as i've been making it sorry i'll try to look straight on like i just said i would put it in all these spots that you can see sometimes i put it right here not all the time honestly because i don't think it's that necessary but sometimes my hand just does what it wants to do and that's why it goes right there i'm doing pretty good on time i check my time it's only like 140 oh y'all saw what i just did <gasps> I did not mean to do that. Luckily, luckily nothing bad really happened just now. But don't do that. Don't rub it in between your eyebrows. That is just not, not what you're supposed to do. No, now I'm just gonna blend that out. Like why don't I just do that? I just blew my own self, like blew my whole mood. Sorry, you have to do a little repair, but now we're back. We're back and I'm gonna use the lighter brown shade mixed with a little bit of the, the really hot pink a little bit and tap it a lot of it off and use that as my blush. Do it again. Okay, I feel like I put a lot on that side, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go in with my big, huge, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go right over that. I hope it doesn't look like I'm being rough. I'm really not. My brushes are really soft and I'm kind of using a light hand. I just move really fast. <laughs> now I use this pressed powder again and I just take my sponge, rub it in a little, and clean up the edge. Right there. I feel like I used to do my makeup a lot more neat, but I just stopped doing my makeup honestly because I just found interest in other places. But. I'm back to my main interest that started my career. Just kidding. Back to my main interest and that is makeup. No, I don't bake or leave this on for that long. I put it on there and then I blend it out like just like that. And it makes it look a not uh, and it makes it look a lot neater. If you didn't know, that's why a lot of girls do this. It makes it look neater. And like your face is more structured, more cut, you know? Especially for us girls with round faces like me. Face like a bouncy ball. Just kidding, I love my face. But yeah cut it up i'm moving really fast like wow this is not even on purpose i just do my makeup fast i kind of have always done my makeup fast but this has come conveniently this time okay i just had an alarm go off but i was saying i just put mascara on my top and bottom lashes that alarm was 15 minutes until my appointment with my mentor which is the meeting i have so i'm gonna oh no, I didn't just do that. I'm not just being so dumb. I'm gonna spray my face again. And we're nearly done. Now I just have to do a little bit of highlight 
And for that, I'm gonna just use my Fenty Beauty, how many carrots, Diamond Bomb, all over Diamond Veil. I used to say this was a highlighter, but I guess it's really not. It's just like some glittery shit. Um, but it looks really nice. It's kind of like a jelly. The more that I mess with it, it kind of feels like, it's like an interesting texture. I'm gonna be applying this on my finger and not gonna lie, sometimes it be getting a little messy, but I don't know what else to apply it with. Like. When I try to use a brush, it doesn't work. Like it just doesn't even go onto the brush. Now we put that all over everywhere. I'm just gonna blend it out with my face brush. Or try to blend it out. This is kinda not gonna lie, it's kinda hard to blend out because once it's down, it's down. There's no if ands or but about it. And that is the end of our face. Lastly, I'm just gonna do my lips. Sorry if I seem really out of focus this whole video. I really apologize, but I'm just kind of in a rush, I guess. I guess that's my excuse. Make sure all your corners are blended out. You don't want to be looking crazy out here. This is Milani. It's like a lip cream. A more matte, yeah, it's a lip cream. A more matte lip cream. Color 19, Covet. So Covet, I don't, I don't know. But I just use that as my lip liner, to be honest. I have lip liners, but sometimes it's easier for me to just use this. That's that. Sometimes I use a concealer and put it on the inner part of my lip, but I don't really like using that because like it's concealer, it's not really for your lips. Doing it today because I want a ombre um, look, you know. Now all of the lip creams I do put right here, they're usually like a little pinky, and I don't want that. Which is I guess I can use concealer. <laughs> That's that. I'm gonna use my mini Fenty Beauty gloss bomb and put it on top. I feel so bad because I've been staying in the brushes and my lip gloss, but it is what it is. It's mine, so it don't really matter. We're done. What do you guys think? Okay, let me take my hair out and look like something a little bit. Move y'all back. for today's video i'm glad we had a little talky talk and did our makeup together so yeah i'll see you again tomorrow in my next video bye